Hi, I'm Rachel, and today I'll be presenting on my final year project on multivariate time series anomaly detection using transformer. Due to the vast quantity of high dimensional data produced, anomaly detection is becoming more crucial in numerous fields. The problem of anomaly detection in large scale database is also becoming more and more difficult as a result of the rise in data mobilities. To overcome the problem, the project aims to implement transformer to detect anomalies in multivariate time series data. This project also investigates ways to improve the base model performance. The core of the base model uses the original transformer encoder with some modifications and does not utilize the decoder. The first modification made is to use fully learnable positional encoding instead of deterministic encoding as it performs better for all selected datasets. Next, as individual samples may show significant length variation in time series data, a padding mask is generated to add significant negative values to shorter samples. Lastly, rather than using layer normalization, batch normalization is used to lessen the impact of outliers' values in time series. Next, I will talk about the proposed improvised models implemented. Firstly, it was noticed that the base model has a deficit when dealing with data with very fine granularity. To overcome this issue, a convolutional layer is added to extract more meaningful representations. Secondly, there is a hidden link between different channels at the current time step. Hence, an extension of two tower framework is designed where encoders in each tower explicitly capture the stepwise and channel-wise correlation. Lastly, it is noticed that the combination of convolutional neural network with transformer is loosely coupled and does not make full use of CNN. To address this, CSP attention and pass-through mechanism is proposed. CSP attention is used to address the issue of memory bottleneck and computational efficiency of multi-head attention. The input is split into two parts, where the first part is passed into a convolutional layer, and the second part is passed into the multi-head attention, as seen in the figure. This decreases the computational cost by 31.25%. Next. Pass-through mechanism takes feature maps from prior networks and integrates them with a final feature map to obtain fine-grained information. By ranking the models for all selected datasets and getting the average rank for all models, it can be seen that the pre-trained base model performed the best with an average rank of 2.7. Supervised two-tower transformer comes in second with an average rank of 4.3, followed closely by both supervised and pre-trained convo transformer with an average rank of 4.7. The mentioned proposed models perform better than existing models. As for classification, the pre-trained base model performed the best with an average rank of 3.4. Coming in second is supervised convo transformer with an average rank of 3.8 followed closely by supervised tightly coupled convo transformer with an average rank of 4. It can also be observed that all proposed models outperform all SOTA approaches but ROCKET. All in all, although most proposed improvised models outperform the base model for supervised tasks, the pre-trained base model performed the best overall. It was also demonstrated that the pre-trained models provide significant performance advantages over fully supervised learning, even when the same data samples are used instead of utilizing additional unlabeled data. Further enhancement to the encoder design have also contributed to a 31.25% reduction in the computational cost of self-attention. Moving on to the future work, the model can be further improved by the following methods. Even though the execution time has been decreased by 30% using CSP attention, it can be reduced further by changing the multi hit attention with other alternative schemes such as pass attention patterns, recurrence, or compression attention. Next, for the two-tower model, merging the features by concatenating may compromise performance of both towers, a simple gating mechanism can be implemented to learn the weight of each tower. Lastly, 
One possible reason that the proposed improvised models did not perform as well as the pre-trained base model is because the hyperparameters used are not the best. Neural Architect Search can help to automatically find the best hyperparameters for the proposed models. And this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you.